Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we are in the 10th video on the new series that I've started on social information networks. So if you haven't yet checked them out, do check out the playlist that I've given in the description below. Uh, we've been discussing the different concepts of social information networks, which is an important course in the uh, computer science and engineering degree that is there. So let's get started with today's video. In today's video, I am going to discuss eigenvector centrality now what is eigenvector centrality okay before that what is a centrality measure so we've discussed this in the past few videos a centrality measure is a measure which helps us understand or calculate the importance of a, a given node in a huge graph network okay or in any graph network so that is what a centrality measure is now there are different aspects based on which we can calculate the centrality so one of such centrality measures that is that are there is known as eigenvector centrality and we're going to calculate that today. So let us here take a sample graph. We have five nodes in this graph. One, two, three, four and five. OK, so I'm connecting one, two, two, four, three, four, four, five and three, five. Right. So now. This is eigenvector centrality is the most complicated amongst the amongst all the centrality measures that we have. So the first step here or the first uh, thing that you need to do is to calculate or make the adjacency matrix. OK, so if you if you do not know how to make an adjacency matrix, uh, look at the uh, first video in the series or the second video in the series. We've done that before. So this is the adjacency matrix for this graph uh, 2 to 1 there is an edge 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 1 0 okay so this is the adjacency matrix for this particular graph here now what is the next step so in this eigenvector centrality there are multiple iterations that you may have to do so you may have to repeat one process for a couple of iterations now let's look at how we do that okay so let us call this the first iteration iteration number one i'll also tell you when you have to stop this iterations okay so iteration one what you do is you take in the adjacency matrix that is there 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 and you multiply a column matrix which is 1 1 1 1 1 now what will this give you uh you multiply the row with the column this will give you one two two three two now what you have to do is you have to normalize this uh this vector that is there how do you normalize this vector you are going to find the sum of the squares of the final output here and then divide it with each of these elements that is what is the square of each of these elements one plus four plus four plus nine plus four so the sum of the squares which is equal to equal to what 8 uh, 9 9 plus 9 is 18 18 plus 4 is 22 okay this is the uh, sum of the squares now what you have to do is you have to take the square root of this value so you have to uh, after multiplying the matrix with a column vector of ones whatever um, uh, column vector you get you have to find out the magnitude of that so under root of the sum of the squares so 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 9 plus 4 under root of that is 20 root 22 which is basically 4.69 now this implies you have to normalize this so 1 divided by 4.69 2 divided by 4.69 2 divided by 4.69 3 divided by 4.69 and 2 divided by 4.69 okay which is equal to 0 0.213 0 0.426 0 0.426 0 0.639 
and 0 0.426 so you can use your calculator here i have already calculated these values okay now moving on this was our iteration one now what we are going to do is do our iteration two you're going to take the same adjacency matrix okay 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 and multiply it with this vector that we have got as the output here right so that would be 0 1 0 0.213 0 0.426 0 0.426 0 0.639 and 0 0.426 now when you multiply this or when you uh, multiply this matrix with the uh, column vector you will get 0 0.426 0 0.852 I already calculated this that is the reason i am uh, doing it this fast otherwise it's a long and lengthy process okay now once you multiply this you again have to normalize normalize ke liye what you have to do you have to find out the squares of all these values of 0 0.213 square 0 0.426 square 0 0.426 square 0 0.639 square and 0 0.426 square and you have to add them all up and then you have to whatever sum of squares you get you have to take the square root of that okay so once you get the square root of that you will have to divide it with this vector right divide it with all the elements in this vector and after doing that you will get a final vector so the normalized value or the value of the normalization here is 2.19 okay now if you divide all the values that is that are there in this vector 0 0.426 0 0.852 and all of these with the 2.19 what you're going to get is 0 0.195 0 0.389 0 0.486 0 0.584 0 0.486 now you might get the doubt that this is such a stupid and complicated process when am i going to stop so you are going to stop when you get the normalized value constant for two continuous iterations so what was it here it was 4.69 it is 2.19 here they're not same right which means that we need to move on to the next iteration okay so in iteration three what happens is the same adjacency matrix you're going to take okay 1 now when i multiply this with the vector that we got here that would be 0 0.195 0 0.389 0 0.486 0 0.584 and 0 0.486 it is basically the same vector that we have got here okay taking this vector and multiplying it you will get 0 0.389 0 0.779 1.07 1.36 1.07 now if you find the squares of all of these and add them up and take the under root you will get a normalized value of 2.21 is it same as this no it is not which means that you again have to uh, go to the next iteration so divide it with the column vector that we have 52 0 0.484 0 0.616 and 0 0.484 now now again you have to go for your iteration 4 in your iteration 4 you again will have to take the uh, adjacency matrix 1010 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 0.484 0 0.616 and 0 0.484 now if you calculate the normalized value for this particular thing uh, this particular column vector okay not for this 
now if you multiply this you will get 0 0.352 0 0.792 1.10 1.32 and 1.1 okay now if you find out the normalization value for this what you will get is let us if you find out the squares uh, of each of these and take the under root you will be getting a value of 2.21 now is this value same as this value yes it is the same as the previous iteration which means that you will stop the process here that was this was the last iteration iteration 4 is the last iteration and this vector is the final vector or the final uh, eigenvector centralities of each of the nodes so now which of these is the highest node number one two three four five node number four has the highest eigenvector centrality or it is the most important with respect to eigenvector centrality this is what we understand and this is how we calculate the eigenvector centrality so i hope you got to learn or understand how to uh, calculate eigenvector centrality of a given uh, graph network and if you did Please do like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching. That is all I had for this video and I will see you in the next video where, we'll, where we will discuss many more important and fun topics. Okay. Thank you for watching.